New court documents released in the wrongful death lawsuit of Carl DeBrody reveal Carl was allegedly forced to physically fight another resident for the benefit and amusement of his caregivers. We first broke this story on our website at 10.30 this morning. ABC 17's Deborah Kendrick was first to look through the court documents that reveal graphic accusations of what was going on months before his death. I went through the more than 60 pages of an amended complaint that was recently filed in regards to the wrongful death lawsuit. In it, DeBrody family attorney Rudy Veet said Sherry Paulo and Anthony Flores, both caregivers of DeBrody, would force Carl and another resident to fight. Veet's alleging the fight club led to the death of Carl DeBrody. New documents today reveal several months leading up to October of 2016, Sherry Paolo would regularly and frequently take Carl and another resident overnight to her own residence in Fulton in her basement on the concrete floor. It was in her home that she allegedly made Carl and another resident physically fight each other for the quote, benefit and amusement for her and her family. Sometime between the timeline of October 25th and November 24th of 2016, Carl was staying overnight at Palo's home where he eventually was found unresponsive, convulsing on the floor, appearing to have a seizure. Veets wrote in the lawsuit, instead of calling 911 or other emergency assistance, the caregivers placed him in a bathtub with running water where he later died and was left there for days before leading up to his death encased in concrete. I contacted both Veets and the Fulton Police Department for comment on this. I am waiting to hear back from both of them. But what we do know is that Veets' firm was in close contact with investigators in regards to them releasing paperwork to him for the wrongful death lawsuit. It's still unclear if the new information was from police or a possible coroner report. Coming up on ABC 17 News at 6, some new defendants were also named in this lawsuit. I'll break down who they are and what their role was. To read the full lawsuit and to see our complete coverage of this case, you can log on to our website, abc17news.com, click the News tab, and select Case of Carl DeBrody. And ABC 17 Sasha Gomez went to the places related to or included in the lawsuit over the death of Carl DeBrody. She joins us live in our newsroom tonight. And Sasha, first you went to the Callaway County Social Services Agency that was supposed to do those face-to-face -face visits with Carl, but you were asked to leave. Ashley, that's correct. I spent all day going from place to place to the people mentioned in this lawsuit, especially because the details in the lawsuit have caused public outrage. Even on our ABC 17 Facebook page, it was flooded with people asking who is going to be responsible. I went to talk with three people named in this lawsuit. Take a listen to how those visits went. Hi, Janelle. Hi, nice yes. to meet you. I'm Sasha Hi. Gomez with KMIZ. Hi. I just wanted to talk to you all regarding the allegations regarding uh, Carl DeBrody and getting into a fight club that just was released to us. Can you talk to me about that? Uh, no, I don't really know anything about that. Was it <laughs> just released or something? Right. It, we basically, the allegation on the civil lawsuit that he was killed in a fight club in... You don't know anything about that? No, I, I don't know anything about that. About the allegations regarding the fight club? As you, as you know. I don't know. Anytime there's a lawsuit, we, no one can comment. Not so even I, with the recent allegations regarding him being in a fight club? At all. No comment whatsoever? No, I can't. There's a lawsuit pending. There's no comment I can make. Coming up at 6, you'll be hearing from one Fulton woman's reaction regarding these new development developments, excuse me, and we'll also show you what happened when we showed up to the manager's house, uh, Sherry Paulo's, where the alleged fights and where Carl allegedly suffered the fatal injuries and was left to die. Reporting live here in the newsroom, Sasha Gomez, ABC 17 News.